elements of jazz. Your visual jazz experience. him on my records, mine and his records, and, and it's just an honor to play with him. I'm still a Jeff Lober Fusion fan like I was, you know, in college, and, you know. And, you know, life is funny. Sometimes you, you actually do get what you pray for, and, you know, when I was a kid, I used to pray that I'd work with my heroes and work with the guys that I wanted to be like, and so this is an answer to prayer, really, just, you know, being able to play with Jeff and all the guys, Eric and, and Will and, 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 and <laughs> Mr. Haslip. <laughs> I'm getting old. So, but no, I just want to say, you know, Lord bless you, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. And thanks again. Mr. Jackson, thank you so much for coming and agreeing to do Elements of Jazz. We really appreciate it. You're one of our heroes in this I'll industry. Hood. But we just have Jeff Lorber here. And so he was talking about collaborations, and he was saying that you're doing some work on his album, and he's doing some work on your upcoming album. Can you talk a little bit about some of the collaborations that you guys are doing and some of the current stuff you have going on? Absolutely. Like um, on his last record, I did a lot of guitar playing and then he produced two songs on my current CD, which is called Lay It Back. He did a song called The Workout and a song we called uh, Lucy the Cat in memory of, of one of his many cats that he has at the house. And so we decided to do th the same thing on this record. I'm doing a lot of playing and and um, he's going to do some playing and production on my record. We've written about, about three songs so far. And so we're just going to see what we're, we're going to record and, and what ends up on my new CD. So we've been working together a lot for like about the past 20 years. So he's a real talented guy, a pleasure to work with, just just a great guy. So, I, you know, we're, I'm having fun. Well, you mentioned the past 20 years. He said he's known you since you were 17 years old in Inglewood with, <laughs> with some type of track machine. So uh, we thought that that was interesting. Well, it wasn't quite 17. It's probably closer to 23. But I turned my mom's den into a recording studio. I spent every dime I had and got a 24 track machine and and put all this stuff in there. And he would come by and we'd do tracks and, and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, Jeff has known me a long time. So, yeah, we've been putting <laughs> not only in the music industry but also the film and television industry can you talk a little bit about your early involvement in tv and film being a musician uh got a chance to work on some good things the soundtrack to the bodyguard uh worked on movies like tootsie and then i at late i mean uh later writing for movies like uh, with stanley clark like undercover brother and uh playing on different soundtracks oh gosh like Underscore for different televisions, like I uh, did the music for the Martin television show, for Townsend oh, television. Different television shows, working on a lot of different movie scores, um, like Rain Man, um, Driving Miss Daisy, um, quite a few different ones, just, you know, different different ones over the years. Um, and then now, of course, uh, playing the guitar on The Tonight Show, which is a new, a different venture, doing music for American Idol for six seasons. So just a lot of different things, you know. Lord's really blessed. Just a lot of variety of different music. Yeah. Younger people will probably know you from American Idol and The Tonight Show. So how did you get involved with those two um, shows in particular, American Idol and The Tonight Show? 
that would be two words, Ricky Minor. Uh, I've worked extensively with Ricky Minor, musical director, bass player, um, since the Whitney Houston days. He was Whitney's musical director for years. We went from doing Whitney to doing a show called Motown Live, and then Ricky uh, is just really excellent, great bass player, great organizer, great arranger. We started doing more television shows, the Emmys, the Grammys, uh, Women Rock, oh gosh, Diva Awards, lots of things for BET, lots of things uh, just you know, for VH1, and we ended up doing Idol, American Idol. So we were there for six years. Last year was our, um, actually not, yeah, well, yeah, last year was our, our last year doing it, and we went straight from doing American Idol to doing The Tonight Show. So we've been there actually a year now, and we're having a blast. Uh, me and Ricky and the gang, we're just having a lot of fun, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. But Ricky Minor, working with Ricky Minor extensively... wanted to ask you that's that's really important to me um i can tell just in listening to your music that it's important to you how does your spirituality play a part in your music what role does that play well i tell people all the time it's it, it's really the truth is christianity is not something else that i do christianity is who i am so who i am has to permeate and go in everything that i do so it's in my music in my life the way i treat my kids you know, uh, the way I, I treat the, the, the lady at the hotel counter, you know, so, uh, and it's, it's part of my music in terms of uh, not just the music that I write, but even the goals for the music, the goal, you know, my goals are to bless people, you know, to maybe lift people up, to encourage people, uh, make people feel better, you know, hopefully, you know, lead them, lead them to Christ in some way, you know, and so that's, you know, that that's how I look at it, it's, it's my spirituality, everything uh, comes out of the spirituality as opposed to my spirituality coming out of things that I do because Christianity, like I said, Christianity is who I am. Like, my style is kind of like a casserole, or I, I would say, um, you know, like when when um, your mom has cooked all week and and she's got a little of this, a little of that, and a little of this, a little of that. At the end of the when the week, you know, Friday night, it's like what we have. We have a casserole. What's it got in it? Well, it's got this from Monday, this from Tuesday, this from Wednesday, this from Thursday, and I think that's what my playing really evolves from a lot. From Ray Parker Jr. and Al McKay on the rhythm side, a lot from Lee Rittenauer and Earl Clue on the lead side, uh, a little bit of Wes Montgomery and George Benson, and whoever else I can steal it from. And, and when you roll it around long enough and you keep it in the oven long enough and, and stir it up enough, it starts getting a flavor of its own. So it's kind of a casserole that's been in the oven for a while and started to, to develop a flavor of its own. So that, that's, that's, that's how I, I describe my style. Well, sir, it's certainly tasty. I'll tell you that. Oh, final question. You briefly talked about your upcoming project, Lay It Back. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, what's the anticipation? What's the, you know, launch date? Um, when can we be looking for it? Because you know that the, our viewers out there definitely want to get it. Well, Lay It Back is out right now. You can, yeah, you can get it on iTunes or Amazon or CDBaby.com. So Lay It Back is out now. Uh, you know, like I said, you can download iTunes or Amazon, whatever. Uh, the new project, I'm start probably recording in August or September, and that should be out around the first of the year. And that's, you know, like I said, Jeff worked on the last one. He'll be working on this one. And I got some surprises on this one, so some more surprises. So, so look for it probably around, um, if I can't get it out by September, probably the beginning of, of uh, this coming year. Yeah, but the new one is, the, the one out now is Lay It, Lay it Back. 
Yeah, so, yeah. Well, uh, folks, there you have it. Lay it back. It's out currently. You can get it on iTunes. You can download it. You can go to the music store. Make sure you get it. You heard it first here on Elements of Jazz. Mr. Jackson, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you.